The new Fallout 84 update is better than what we all thought it would be. After word got out that Fallout 84 was removing jetpacks, everyone disliked that. Heck, even the devs themselves. But since the update has officially dropped, it turns out that some heroes, actually quite a few heroes, still have their jetpacks. And the update really isn't that bad. A lot of players have already left, and I must say that they are missing out. As much as everyone loved jetpacks, them being removed overall still feels horribly wrong. Kind of like stepping on a Lego. It hurts. But after giving Farlight a shot, trying out the trios and the new map, you will still have a problem. And that problem is breaking the habit of misclicking since you don't have all your jetpacks. Oh. I'll press that on accident. But if you can get used to how the game is now, misclicks included, you'll see how much fun it can actually be. Falling from crazy heights without taking fall damage and riding zip lines while ADSing, which feels humanly impossible. Like how are you holding up the gun while ADSing and holding on to the zip line at the same time? Are they using their butt? Honestly to me, it feels like COD Mobile a little bit and obviously Apex, but without the sliding. Maybe if we give the devs some time, they'll eventually add a new movement mechanic. Some of you may have noticed that I used to play Cypher a lot. But what many of you may not have known is that Cypher and I were dating. But once they removed her recon scan, things just weren't working out anymore, so we broke up. But now, they brought her recon scan back, kept the teleportation, and sped up the speed that it travels. So Cypher and I are still trying to figure things out. But what I'm trying to say to you is that you should at least give Fallout 84 and its devs one more chance. At least until Higher Energy Heroes and Warzone Mobile come out. I honestly believe that everyone who deleted the game should re-download it and try it out for yourself. And if you still don't like it, that's completely understandable. But I'll just leave you with this question. Can you really just let all of those fun, juicy memories go down the drain without giving Farlight the chance to prove itself to you? Peace.